Hello, Internet. Um, you know what time it is? It is actually the Profitech Go clean time. If you see on the LCD that it says clean and it's got a counter that says seven, uh, basically when this comes up, it means it's just reminding you to do your regular uh, group head back flush. And uh, that back flush also cleans the solenoid area, um, which is like a tube running uh, from the group head all the way down into the drain. Very, very easy to do, okay? I'm not gonna make this video super long. All you need is a Kafiza. Uh, this is, I don't know what's it called, espresso machine clean powder. It's pretty much just super strong, like detergent, like almost like laundry detergent that you put on the back flush plate, which if you bought the Profitech Go, it comes with the back flush plate, which is great. Um, oh, this one, okay, so it's manufactured. I bought it, I think, a couple years ago um, for my Gaja Classic, uh, which I sold, and now I got the Profitech Go. Um, so again, you don't need a lot, okay? Very, very easy to do, let's see. And this is pretty much all you need. Um, it's a very strong detergent. Make sure you wash your hand thoroughly if you touch it. It's very um, slippery. So when you have this, and also make sure you have some water in your tank because you're gonna be flushing it, flushing the machine quite a lot. So if the water is low, do add some more water. And uh, this comes up after every couple hundred shots. And the shots, the, the countdown timer is also customizable. You can go into settings over here on the LCD screen and change how many shots you want this reminder to come up. Um, so I can't remember what I set it to, but I think I've already made quite a lot of shots without cleaning it. So now today we're just gonna clean it, okay? You want to make sure um, it's not in steaming mode and uh, you're just gonna put this little bit of stuff here into the, and as you can see, when I press that clean button, the, the brew button, the, count, the timer actually went down. Supposedly, you need to press the brew button about nine times to clean um, the group head and flush the solenoid valve. This is already cleared three times. I'm gonna do it until the water inside is nice and is clear. It doesn't have any of the soap left. So let's start, do the first one. You see the, uh, the pressure gauge comes up. Once it comes up, you're gonna hit stop and you can see it already started pushing all the, uh, the grimes, whatever, uh, out of the solenoid valve. So the, the water, the, the powder actually already went into the machine. Okay, so we're gonna click the second time. So you let it run for about like five to seven seconds and you close it. So basically it's just like pressure, building up the pressure in the chamber, push the pressure out, building up the pressure again. So a few cycles and you should have a very nice clean group head, okay? And again, I'm gonna continue doing this. Okay. During this time, feel free to take this out and see what it looks like. Again, lots of foams still left in here. Um, the, the goal is to have all those powder flow through the solenoid valve, push it out. We're gonna do it again. Yep, more foam, the better, okay? Um, and we're just gonna continue doing it. We're gonna do this at least nine times, at least. And as your drip tray gets full, make sure you clean it. And now you see the countdown timer actually disappeared. Basically, it starts to come down again from the timer, uh, from the time that it disappears. So uh, the next time is probably gonna be a couple hundreds down the road. Um, again, now you can use your coffee machine regularly after you finish clean. But I still need to run it a few more times and get this cleaned a little. Oh, look at the water. It's like, I gotta get, put this back. All right, let's put this back. 
and I probably have to clean the bottom in a little bit because uh, it's still building up the pressure over there and it's still pushing through the solenoid. Okay, we're gonna continue doing this a little more times. Again, always come back and check, see what the condition of the water is. Now I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, if you think your machine is pretty clean now, you can see it runs clean now. Uh, you can dump this water out and just run a clean cycle, you know, with clean water. And that also does the trick. Okay, so for me, maybe three, four more times. All right, maybe uh, three more times. Two more times and I'm gonna dump the water in the port filter out. Check it out. See, it's already pretty clean. I'm gonna do it one more time. Excellent. So, water's clean. However, I'm gonna dump this out. Let's... Dump it out again because there are some residues, you know, within the um, the shower screen as well. Just want to make sure from this point on the water is as clean, as clear as possible, without any detergents. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go back in here, and we're just gonna run a few cycles without any detergents to make sure the water or the chamber inside is is super clean. Okay. It's free and clear of detergents. There's some foams coming out from the solenoid valve. We're almost done. The whole process, as you can see, you're staying with me with this video. It's less than 10 minutes. Uh, it should be much faster without talking, okay? Probably three, four minutes max. And now I'm gonna take this out. I'm going to physically smell it. And if you don't smell the detergent, you smell just like um, it's boiled water. Um, it's done. There's a little stuck piece over here. A little extra detergent, I guess. Yep. So yeah, so from this point on, it's clean and ready to go. Um, and until next time, uh, it's gonna ask you to clean again. And again, the setting of the countdown, uh, the shots, is customizable for your Profit Go. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe. And I sure have more espresso related uh, videos coming out for you guys. So I think the next video I'm gonna do is actually how to descale. Like if you use it for a few months and you live in an area that there are a lot of hard water, you definitely want to descale the boiler, okay? So the cleaning of the group head has nothing to do with descaling. Uh, it's two separate process that you have to do to maintain your espresso machine in the best condition. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Take care. And very last, just as a reminder, don't forget to clean the mess under the espresso machine. Uh, if you actually did take the tree out and the solenoid valve is dripping, the water is gonna all come down to the bottom. So make sure you clean it, okay? Cheers.